All right, ladies and gentlemen, notebooks out. Let's get started. Yep, last we're going to be on the boards today. Before we can begin talking about sector area and arc length, we need to talk about area and circumference to begin with. Settle down. Now. This crash can right there. All right. So the area of a circle. Does anybody know the formula for the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Very nice. OK. Does anybody know the formula for circumference? You can think about circumference as the perimeter of the circle, you know? Perimeter or the circumference of a circle. What do you got? Circumference. 2 pi r. All right. Now, the diameter of a circle is twice the radius. Remember? So you can also write the circumference as the diameter times pi. OK? They are basically the same formula. Well, they are the same formula. Circumference. Now. If we want not the whole area of the circle, but maybe just part of the circle, okay? That's what we call a sector. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A sector is a region of the circle. Let me give myself. Like that. You can think about it as a slice of a pie or a piece of a pizza, that kind of thing. All right? It's a wedge cut out of a circle. And if I only want the area of that, what I'm talking about is a fraction of the whole circle. Now, remember back early, early math classes, elementary school, when you first learned about fractions, they probably taught it using a birthday cake, a pizza, something like that, right? Okay, so. This idea of a fraction of a circle is hopefully not something you have never seen before, right? We all know what we're dealing with. OK, but how do we actually get the value of that gray area? OK, here's the way we're going to do it. We're going to use a proportion very much like the way we use proportions in similar triangles and things like that, OK? Because what we're dealing with is a part of the circle and the whole circle, okay? So before we can even try to find the area of this sector, okay, that's the name of that. The word section, you know, like this class and that section of the class comes from the same root word, okay? Now, we need to know the radius of this circle, and we need to know the angle that that sector is talking about. So we need r, my radius, and I need theta, whatever theta is, whatever that angle is. A little bit lighter, maybe. OK. All right. So those are the two pieces of information that we need before we can go anywhere on this. All right. Now, sometimes. Finding the radius or finding the angle is a problem all by itself. Okay, so 
if they ask you for the sector, the area of this sector, those are the two pieces of information you have to hunt down first. The problems that you'll be dealing with today are going to be very straightforward. You're going to be doing two problem sets, one finding the area and one finding the arc length. Okay? And then you guys are going to get a homework assignment, work on that in class. Hopefully you won't have anything very serious to do over the weekend. Okay? All right. So the, the formula for sector area and the formula for arc length are very, very similar formulas because they both basically are talking about a part of the circle. Okay, so we have an angle, which is part of the circle, over the whole circle. How many degrees in the whole circle? Good, 360. Excellent. Equals, so we have a part over the whole. Equals the area of the sector that I want. That's my goal, is to find that value right there over the area of the whole circle. And we just got the formula for the area of the whole circle. What's that? Pi r squared. Yeah, this is the area of the sector. And this is the angle of the sector. Okay, this is a whole circle. And this is the area whole circle. So this is the formula that you're going to be using. And from here, it's just a matter of cross multiplying and solving. Now, I'm going to do one or two examples, and I'm going to throw some typical vocabulary at you. Question. It depends upon the problem. Okay. So, there is, but you're not going to use it. All right. No. Just let me go through this example, please. So we're going to make this 120 degrees and a radius of 10. And I want the area of that sector. All right. So. I'm going to walk this one through with you. And here's the important piece of vocabulary that I want you to be aware of. Pay attention here. The instructions very often use these words. So leave your answer in terms of pi. What that, does that mean? It's saying that your final answer should not be a decimal that you've already put the value of pi into. Okay? There is a pi button on your calculator. You're not going to use it. Not when the instructions tell you this. Okay? This says you're going to leave your answer as a fraction, if, it's, if it can be a fraction, or as a decimal, but your final answer is going to have the symbol pi on it. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to, I'm going to walk you through this problem, and you'll understand when it's over. So the formula says... That's the formula. Now, I'm going to plug in the information that I know, and I'm going to solve for the, for the area of the sector. 
So I have 120 all over 360 equals area. and pi times 10 squared, okay? Now, 10 squared is what? Good. So, okay, now here's part of what I'm talking about. I do not want you to put in 3.14 I do not want you to put in what the calculator's value is, you know, 3.1415, blah, 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 blah. I don't want that. I want you to leave pi as a symbol and leave it there, and your final answer is going to have that symbol in the answer, okay? Because I want an exact answer. If you use the pi button or put in 3.14, it's going to give you a decimal that is an approximation of the real value, okay? You're going to have to round it somewhere if you give me a decimal like that. I don't want a rounded answer. I want an exact answer, an answer that I could go out to 100 decimal places if I wanted to because I know the value of pi, right? And if I really needed it, I could go all the way out however accurately I wanted to. So, don't use the 3.14, don't use the pi button. Just leave it alone, okay? If they don't say, leave your answer in terms of pi, like if it says, approximate to three decimal places, then you do use the pi button, okay? So, pay attention to the instructions. It's a great way to mess up an answer, okay? Today, I want your answers in terms of pi. Okay. All right. So now I want A alone. I can cross multiply, but when I cross multiply, I'm just going to wind up dividing by the 360. For example, if I did this and I cross multiplied, and you see now I'm divide now my next step is to divide by 360. So it's kind of silly for me to even move the 360 at all. Just leave it where it was. You don't have to multiply both sides. Now, go to your calculator. Type in 12,000 divided by 360 and reduce the Okay, get the reduced fraction, please. Yeah. I don't want you touching the pie button. Let's get through this example before we go any further. Math, enter, enter. And what do you get? Hmm? Okay. Is your answer? You can put the pie up top, which is acceptable also. You sometimes will see it written that way, because remember, when you multiply two numbers, we multiply a fraction times an integer or any number, it gets multiplied to the top. Okay, so either one of those two answers is what I'm looking for. Yes. Let's do another one.
try this one on your own. I've made it a little bit different. What's different? Okay, what is the angle? Uh, 180. 180, good. And what is my radius? It's how much? Eight, right. It's half of that because that's my diameter. I only want radius. Yeah, look at where it's written. It's written in the whole, to say that it's the whole length. Okay. So take a minute and see if you can put this one together. What's my angle? 180. And my radius? 8. Don't forget to square it. Now, you move the pi times 8 squared up. And now, you go to your calculator, you leave the pi off of it, and you reduce the fraction. And you, you should get... Is that what you got? Good, so did I. Does that make sense? Yeah? Uh, I hear him. If you type in 180 times 64 and then divide it by 360, you should get 32. Okay. All right. So how do we feel on this? Okay. Let's try one last one. All right, now what am I looking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So, we're looking for that angle right there. And we have a diameter, don't we? So, what we're going to do to find the red angle is to remove the part that I don't want, which is the 45. And when I do that, what do I wind up with for that? How big is that? Good, 135 degrees. 180 minus the 45 gives me that angle. And now you have enough information to find the area of, of that sector. What's my radius? Good.
So, 363 over 4? Over 8, yeah. Yes. Huh? Um, you go to the calculator, do 135 times 11 squared. Divided by 360, math, enter, enter. Okay. Let the calculator do the work for you. We're used to it. All right. Do we, how do we feel about sector area? What's that? When the instructions tell you to. When the instructions tell you how they want their answer to be written. Okay. Now, arc length. Arc length has an almost identical formula. It's the same thing. Except we're dealing not with the air conference circle. Okay. So we still need the radius and whatever angle they're talking about. So now the formula is same on the left as before, but now my arc length, okay, over the circumference. What was the formula for circumference? 2 pi r. This talking about the length of that arc. Like you had a piece of string that you wrapped around the circle. You had that piece of string and you wrapped it around the circle from place to place and then took it off and laid it on a ruler. How long would it be? That's the idea of arc length. We've had two ways of talking about arcs in here. One of them was the angle of the arc itself, the measure of the arc. And the other one was the length of the arc, which we're doing today. Okay? They talk about the same thing, but there's different ways of measuring it. One of them is in degrees. The other one would be in meters. Okay? That idea. So let's do one or two of these. And then you guys will go to the boards. You have two slips, yellow, which is sector area, and blue, which is arc length. Okay? So. I'm going to say um, 225 degrees. Pay attention. Try this one on your own. 
leave your answer in terms of pi, just like before. Right. A lot of times. It depends upon the problem. No, the radius of it is 20. The 360 is always going to be in the formula. That's never going to change. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the pi is, it's, it's on the end. Who has an answer? Remember to le reduce your fractions. Always reduce your fractions. Okay, good. Yeah, don't confuse the formulas. So it's just the 2 and the 20, which is 40, right, times 225 over 360, okay? Remember, the 2, the pi, and the radius, those are all multiplied, which means you can, they're commutative. You know, you can move it around and change the order of the 2, the pi, and the 20. They're all multiplied together anyway. We're just not putting the pi in the answer. So when you multiply this whole thing out, 225 times 2 times 20, what do you get? All over 360, what do we wind up with? Hmm? 25 pi. <laughs> 25 pi. Got to remember to leave the pi in there. Without the pi, it's wrong. It's got to be in there. Okay. It's not, the mathematics is not too insane. It's, you know, it's pretty lightweight math. Some formulas are on the formula sheet. But, for example, ladies and gentlemen, the formula for arc length or the formula for sector area is not on the formula sheet. But the area of a circle and the circumference of a circle, they are on the formula sheet. But you just need the proportion and do the multiplying and setting it up okay the formula sheet I can get um, I'll post a copy on my fusion page and um, you guys can take a look at it it's something you might want to take a look at before we actually get started reviewing for SOLs which is coming up real soon yes you didn't okay I'll take a look at yours in just a second all right do we you want to do one more example or do you think you know you what, knew what we're doing Okay? All right, great. This episode of the Ronco Show has been brought to you by Arc Length and Sector Area.